Hi everyone, thanks for coming back today um, and please welcome my natural hair. This is what happens when I get out of the shower and let it air dry. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic, I know, but she's here to stay. Okay, so today's video is all about the high-end makeup products that I never understood all the hype about. Like these are, these are like cult favorites, things that people like you know, got up in the middle of the night for or whatever to, to get, um, to be the first ones to order it, you know, like those type of things, the things that were like always sold out and everyone loves. And then even now, you know, even if they've been out for a while, people still love them. And, uh, yeah, these, they're just, um, I don't know. I just didn't really like them. So let's just get started. So the first one is the Naked Basics. I've seen this a lot because I've watched people do declutters and like so many people have it. And whenever I see someone pull it out and they open it and they're like, I, and then I'm waiting for them to say, don't want this. But they're always like, I love this. And I'm like, but why? I, oh, by the way, these are just my opinions. So yeah, all of this stuff is just why I don't want it. <laughs> so don't take offense. But anyways, so yeah, it's just so boring. I personally don't want a palette or a, um, or a, yeah, I guess a palette that just has transition shades pretty much. Like I would never make a look out of just that. And I just don't want a whole thing of transition shades. I just already have transition shades and I don't mind pulling from multiple palettes at all because I'd rather just use what I have than like go out and buy something specifically for a transition. So that just, so Naked Basics, Naked Basics 2, Ultimate Basics, like I just don't understand the hype at all and I would never purchase them. Also is the Naked One, the Urban Decay Naked One. So I had gotten into makeup after the whole Naked One craze. Um, so I got into makeup about around Naked 3 phase and I got the Naked 3, but Naked 1, it, again in these declutters, people are like, oh, such a beautiful palette, I don't use it, but I want to bring it out more, like it's so good. And I just like, I just think it's boring. I don't understand, like even now I wouldn't want to buy it because it's just, I don't know, it's just boring to me. But I mean, that's just my opinion. You might not find it boring, but I just never understood. Every time I look at it, I'm like, nah. Nah. Okay, next is a makeup product in general, and people are not gonna understand this. I just don't understand why people are so in love with highlighters, okay? Don't shoot me, okay? Don't shoot me. I just, I just feel like if you have one that looks beautiful on you, why do you need more than just that one? You know what I mean? People have like so many highlighters and they're all in different colors and I just don't understand it. Like I, I have one and I don't even really use it that much. I don't know. Like I like highlighter, I guess, but it's just not one of my favorite products and I just don't understand why people need like 15 highlighters in all different shades. Like how do you even use those? You know, like how do you use one up or or even decide in the morning what you're going to put on? It just seems like so complicated to me and I'm just... I'm not into the height, not at all. Okay, another one is the Anastasia brow, brow products. So I did buy the Brow Wiz, like not when it first came out, but I did try it once. I had a Sephora gift card, I think. I tried it and it was good, but it's, it's an eyebrow pencil. Like, I don't think it's anything revolutionary. And I know that now there's a bunch of, um, drugstore products that are very similar to all Anastasia products. They've all been duped by other um, cheaper brands, right? So, but at the time, there wasn't a lot of brow products besides Anastasia. And then people love the dip brow and the, the other one with the, I don't know, it's like the thicker tip. I just don't, I just never really understood it. Like I would just, I don't want to pay $26 for a crayon to fill in my eyebrows when literally eyeshadow does the same thing. I'm sure you have an eyeshadow in your collection that matches your eyebrows. So I just, I never understood that. Um, and I know that it's kind of died off. Like I don't really see people talk about Anastasia brow products at all because I think so many people have duped them, but, uh, yeah, didn't like it then. Don't like it now. Okay. This is going to be a controversial one. Modern Renaissance. I just don't get it. Uh, like, I mean, the, some of the some of the, the colors are beautiful, but when I look at that palette, all I see is red and pink. And I just, 
that's all I see and I just can't get my head around the other shades because they're just I feel like very basic shades that you can get in a lot of different palettes but there's a pink and a red and I would probably never use a red and I don't like pink on my either so I guess I just thought oh no this isn't for me but I just I don't know I guess I wasn't into it so I was kind of confused that it's like a cult favorite because I just wasn't sure what made it different than a bunch of other things. Like for instance, I love the self-culture. I thought that that was really nice, um, but I took it back because I thought the quality was shit, but I don't know, I like that one. Just not the modern renaissance. I even bored it for my sister-in-law to, to see like what the, all the hype was about. Did, still didn't really like it. Shape tape. This confuses me because People were like going nuts for shape tape when it's a concealer. Like I get that it was a good concealer, but before it even came out, you didn't know that it was a good concealer. So why was everyone going batshit crazy? And then like, have you ever heard of someone, uh, like a bunch of people going nuts over a concealer that was coming out? Like this was sold out for so long, you couldn't find it anywhere. And I'm sure it's good, but I just didn't understand why people were going crazy over it because I'm sure we all have some other kind of concealer in our um, our makeup collection that is good enough. So I just don't understand like why everyone got so excited about a concealer. Um, and I know that it was either people who love it or people hate it, but everyone was just so excited for the launch of it. And that just, uh, that just confuses me, like boggles my mind. So didn't buy into the hype. Like I might get it, but I just wasn't too excited about it. When I need another concealer, maybe I'll try it, but not because of the hype. All right, next is NARS Orgasm. People, when I see declutter videos, people keep orgasm, but I never really see people use orgasm. It's like they keep it because it's a cult favorite. Maybe they actually do like it, but I never really see people actually use orgasm in tutorials and stuff like that, or like favorites, or uh, like yearly favorites, or monthly favorites, or, or anything like that. So it's like, is it just sitting in people's collection because it's NARS orgasm? Like I just couldn't get, couldn't get into it. Um, okay, this isn't high end, but it's about the same price as high end, so I'm gonna mention it. And that's Mary Luminizer. Um, I know people say that this is a beautiful highlight and I guess I think Mary Luminizer was like one of the first highlighters that ca came out like before you know everything with highlighters is now available if you want blue pink yellow brown whatever black um, you can get them but uh, I don't know I just didn't really it just lo looked like a nice highlighter to me but I just wasn't like drawn to it maybe because I don't really like highlighters I don't know just don't understand the hype and I'm not about to shell out $30 for a highlighter when honestly I just use eyeshadow most of the time. Eyeshadow does the same thing. It literally I think is the same product. <laughs> so I'm not sure. <sighs> okay and the next one is Benefit brow products. So Benefit has like this whole line of brow products and they, they, they like relaunch them and repackage them and had all these influencers um, with the the launch and I just, I don't really understand. Like, I don't know, I guess it's just what's revolutionary about Benefit's brow products when like Anastasia brow products, everyone was going nuts over and they're like pretty much the same thing. And also I feel like Benefit has like 18 different eye products, or sorry, eyebrow products. And it's like, do we really need those? Do we really need those? Like. Benefit, do, do they even have an eyeshadow palette? Like you're not giving us eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I'm not buying Benefit because it's not cruelty free, but I'm just saying. You're not giving people eyeshadow palettes, but you're giving people 15 different options to do their brows. Like it just doesn't, mm, no, nah. it's a no for me. And the last one that I have is Benefit's box blushes. Whenever I see these, I'm like, that's the worst friggin' packaging every time. Who wants to dip their brush in something that's so dense and like you you can't get every kind of brush in there. Like for instance, if I wanted to put this Real Techniques, I'm not even sure like, I'm not even sure it would fit. You know, it might fit, but like can you like swirl it or like do you just have to dip it? I don't know, the whole box, like why are they in a box? And why do you still give them with that stupid brush that no one ever uses. It is the dumbest shape and it is so scratchy. It is not good quality at all. Oh, I just, 
don't understand it. Like maybe they're good products, but just put them in different packaging. That's just my gripe. But anyways, I know people love those box blushes, but I also don't really understand the hype about blushes because they're blushes. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just me. I go crazy over like eyeshadow palettes. And foundations. I like good foundations. And mascara. That's about it. Maybe some lip products. But anyways, that's just my two cents. And like I said, these are just my opinions. But I just never, like, got into the hype. Um, like, not even once did I even think about wanting to buy these. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh, I should get that because everyone loves it. It was just kind of like, no. I don't like that at all. But... Like I said, maybe that's just me. And anyways, thanks for coming by today. I'll see you later. Bye.